I do want to actually see how this one plays out. So we played Undead Umbron. Fantastic. Fantastic games. My my Creeble Nature deck I built. And I want to see how it plays. I want to see how it plays. Because ever since I found out from Benny himself that uh, Rootglade Grotto actually uh, does its triggers separately, one by one by one, that with Citadel the Musician is an amazing swing turn. So I want to be able to see if I can get something going here with this. Also, Mossfoot Tribe Rider is just really fun to do. Mossfoot Tribe Rider is insanely fun to do. We have some big hitting stuff, no attacks, Bane Bloom for card draw, Grappling Roots to really slow down their aggression, obviously Life Binding for healing. Um, but yeah, I want to see. I want to see how Kreebles work in nature. I want to see how they do. And also, if I this discard one card to draw two, how many Kreebles do I have in this deck? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So a little, like around a third of my deck is Kreebles for discarding and card drawing. I want to see how that plays out. I do want to see how that plays out. So we'll play. We'll play some Kreebel Nature. And see how we do. <sighs> Guys, how are we all doing? It's only an hour into the stream. Only an hour into the stream. Natural Kreeble list. Natural Kreebles. They're all natural. We're doing it. Burrow Zero again. Well, I mean, we know his deck. His deck could be bad for us. Could very well be bad for us. I'm not sure if I said hello or not. Drawing a card, okay. Mossfoot Gardener, we can discard to draw for two. That's fine with us. Do we lay the Rootglade Grotto first, though, and do it? I think we do. Rootglade Grotto into, Mo into Mossfoot Gardener. Feels good. Draw two cards. I like them. I like those cards a lot. Okay. If I lay this and pass. I mean, he could have a Shadow Puppet, right? He could just have a Shadow Puppet. Tentacle. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we lay this, and then we hit for four, heal for three. Like I said, he could have a Shadow Puppet. Right now could be a Shadow Puppet. Graveyard. And... How many cards he's got? He's got six cards now. Okay, so he's going to take five damage. He's going to take the five damage. I think, yeah, actually if I do this... Trigger this. Okay. Okay. What do we have? Shadow Puppet. Okay. That's what I thought.
Rukle Grotto and the Citadel Musician. Sure. That's fine. That is fine with me. Rukle Grotto, man. Those things, those will sneak up on you real quick. Ooh, okay. If I put this down and pass... I could also just... I, like, do I discard Sneaky Creeple? It is four damage. But it is card draw, and I need card draw right now. So I think I do this. A-OK -okay with that. Hmm. He's gonna go up to 20, essentially. Uh, no. I don't think now's the time to put pressure on him. Because he has many ways of micro healing. We all know Undead does. We all know what Undead can, or not Undead, what Dread can do. Dread has a lot of really fun things to do. Assassin's Guild. Okay. More Shadow Buffs. Another Bone Reaper. My word. So he's got six cards in hand. Moss Ridge Defender. That would have helped. That would have helped a little while ago. Wall of Bones. He always ha How does he always have it? Huh? How does he always have the Wall of Bones? The world may never know. Do I ever life binding? I'm gonna get hit for five. Maybe I do? He's used, what, one Shadow Puppet so far, right? Yeah. Now could be a good time to heal. The Wall of Bones is there. I can't really do anything offensively. Yep. All three of his Assassin's Guilds are gone, though. That's insane. Ooh, Rugle Grotto. Okay. Got another one of those. Abyss Shade. Shadow Puppet? Well, no, you can't. No Shadow. No Shadow left. Okay. Okay. I just heal. Um, just passing. Reckless Spirit's not bad. Two Reckless Spirits are even better. Two Shadow Puppets down. Okay. So I'm still looking for one Shadow Puppet and one Devour Soul. And I don't think I've used a single buff removal yet. So he's been very controlly on me, but at the same time, we haven't been that threatened. We've been okay so far. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit of a heal and deal there, but that's fine. What do we have? This is one that I don't like. 
because that does represent healing and dealing for him. I have seen, I have played him quite a few times to know that this one is just annoying. That one's just annoying as all get out. I'll pass then. I'm thinking of trying to build a location machine deck for tech, currently classic format. That could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. Ability? Okay. Man. Card draw heroes, guys. Card draw heroes are insane. Mind you, I have a card draw hero too, but mine isn't card draw return. There's the difference. Does he have the third shadow puppet? Does he just have a third shadow puppet? Does he just have a third shadow puppet? Burrow zero, you are... Yep, see, he doesn't want to use it because I put a wall down. I have instinctually prevented him from wanting to use this ability. Which is what I said would happen. And that's awesome. In my opinion, that's awesome. That shows it's not just, I will always just hit this button no matter what. I, I have some sort of slow down or prevention from him just going insane. Another Skeletal Rider. Okay. Killing that because I don't like it. Sorry, man, I know what your deck does. I'm not going to let you sit there with a Skeletal Rider out. Lay your undead, seal for three, deal three. Like, no. Those are the ones, in honesty, I really have to watch out for. Is this thing just spiraling out of control? Not going to let it happen. I've lost too many a game to that thing. Seriously. He's got the third one. I mean, good for him. Good on him. I guess I'll just lay that. And heal for three. And I can start dealing five damage to him. Sorry, dude. Your your ability triggers, man. I know I know how ability triggers work. Another tentacle. Okay. Now it's really detrimental for him to be ability triggering. Top Tribunal could just be really gross here. Mind you, it would get rid of my Monsters Defender, so I don't think I want to do it just yet. Contamination. Okay. With Shackles of Undeath. Right now, he's got to be looking for, like, a Shadow Puppet or something. Okay, so just using it for the heals. And that's fine. Using it for healing is what you needed to do.
do you have the Shadow Puppet? Wow. Okay. So... I'm dead next turn to his board. I am dead next turn to his board. Dude, that was sick. That was sick. I need to defend. I need to defend. It's the only way out. How many Shadow Puppets did he use? Just the one, right? No, he used two. Okay. He used two. I'm also dead next turn, so I need to draw something off of... Okay, no, I'm just... Yeah, I'm auto-dead next turn now. Good game, man. Oh, no, I'm dead now. I'm dead now. And you're all sitting here saying Dread is a bad order. That graveyard. That graveyard. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, nature just doesn't have the buff removal. Nature does not have the buff removal. I want to say, I really want to try and get maybe two of these in here, but at the same time, no. Oh man, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Hey man, good games too, dude. Good games, man. Do I want to add in... Do I ever just add in a Bramble Spike Caretaker? It is for healing. What am I for animal now? I think that's fine. I need the heal. I need to, I need to last until I get my stuff going. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Who do we have online right now? Ranglethorin is a matter of match. Let's play a few more games with this, see how we do. Yeah, you know, we could just keep climbing or losing if we do. I mean, that's what happens. I do think there's something there. But I do think, obviously, nature as a whole, just it, it suffers drastically from board control. From board control. Um, where it, there's only a few few buffs you want to really lay out, so there's not a whole board spam buff like Dread does. So if you like just kill the buffs that I need, I, I just can't do anything. I'm shut down completely. Uh, I do have some... Uh, I do have some... I guess now more healing. And nature, like, being the only alignment that can only remove one buff is tough. It is very tough. Like, compared to... Now every alignment has two buff removal. Um, and even there's a lot of cards in Storm now to be able to rotate Thunderslug forward one to get three buff removal in one turn. So it is very difficult for Nature to compete in the new buff-heavy meta with only one uh, buff removal at a time. It, it does put Nature at a huge disadvantage. True, I can get my Reckless Spirits back, um, but I have to get them back with Soil Tumbler. 
So if you kill my soil tunnelers, I can't get reckless spirits back. Um, there, I mean, there are a lot of cards to bring back the buff removal, but at the same time, in a tempo-based game, if I'm spending one card to remove one card and then another action to get that card back to remove yet another one, whereas an opponent removes two with one, the tempo swing, I just, I can't keep up the tempo. I cannot keep up the two for one as for one for one. There are a lot of cards in nature that allows me to bring, there's the, the spine back, uh, I'm not sure, he's a beast card that allows me to put back stuff, but I have to have an undead buff on board. There's the soil tunnel that allows me to do it. Um, but I mean, there, yeah, there's just, there's just, it's, it's a very drastic swing for tempo base where getting them back to remove one to then get them back to remove one. It's just really more efficient to be able to remove two at once and get that huge tempo swing. So it's a, it's, it's a weird balancing out for nature. Um, and now that we are actually in a more buff heavy meta, now that you know, Crazed Bomber has been removed, uh, now that Dread is having to run more buffs than Tentacles and all this other stuff, that it's, it's, it's one of those weird places that it's at where um, buff removal really swings tempo. And if you don't have it, it's difficult to do. Um... I think I'll just pass. Not saying nature's bad. Um, nature is good. Na I've had a lot of fun with nature. It's just really hard to combat the tempo swings. See, now Aegis removed two for one. But if he lays two buffs down, if he lays two buffs down, I can only remove one of them. So I have to pick and choose which ones I don't want him to have. Wait, when did he have Star Sail equipped? Was that like first turn? When did that happen? Yeah, I mean, Grimus essentially turns everyone to nature. As long as you run poison buffs. The moment you put a shadow buff down, then you can remove two buffs. Or like a, a, a death buff. Then you can remove two. Wow, very defensive hand. Insect Swarm is okay. Yeah, I mean, Cage is just... It's Cage. There's not much you can do about that. And there's Astral. Being Astral again. Right now, I, I'm playing defensively. I'm not doing any attack damage to you. So, spoiler alert. I wasn't doing anything. Man. You're fine. Star Strike. And he had a combo to pay for it. Man, spoiler is just... Very aggressive, isn't he? Slay this. Use it to heal. Pacer Custom. Good morning. Good morning, sir. So right now we're just going to heal. Once again, playing very defensively against an aggro astral. Feels kind of bad. I will admit. What's my condition with this deck? Uh, my kill method, essentially, it's, um, it's a very gimmicky deck. It's with Root Glade Grottos, uh, but I do have, like, really strong heavy-hitting combos. It's, it is very gimmicky. Um, so probably not that competitive. Uh, but, once again, two for one. Really difficult to combat with that. Really difficult to combat with that. Um... 
But yeah, I just I I'm, I wanted to see how Creebles in nature worked with like like Grotto and all this other stuff with the uh, Mossfoot. I don't think I laid one yet. The Mossfoot Tribe Rider. Um. Whoo, man. So, I mean, I don't expect this deck to win. I just wanted to see if the things would work. Root Glade Grotto, I've, I've been told, is a good card. But it is very situational and conditional to get out. And then, of course, Cage of Oppression in every deck. Why not, right? Why not just every Cage of Oppression everywhere? Such a dumb musician. How many Kribbles do I have in here now? I can bring back the Tribe Rider. Probably the Sneaky Kribble too. I'll just do that next turn. But I mean, there, there's, there's probably a much more efficient way to do this. I, what I really wanted to do is try and get a, um, uh, a Creeble deck that used the Mantix Weavers to then trigger defend abilities, and run like the uh, the Hunger Behemoths, the Monster Tribe Riders, and like a Duskglade Tome or something like that for card draw, and just really. I mean, I got a pass, and I'm probably just dead because Cage of Oppressions are very oppressive. Okay, well. I don't know what more I could do to a very aggro Cage of Oppression deck that runs no buffs. Never mind, there's a buff. Look at that. We have a buff, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a buff. That these very oppressive cages are killing me. Would you look at that? And I don't think there's a thing I can do about this. Okay. I don't need to lay it this turn. But I'm dead in three turns. I'm, I'm dead in three turns. He also has an item. So yeah, I'm just, I'm dead. There we go. There we go. It is a very gimmicky deck. He had no buff. Like, there was a lot of things that went wrong right there. There are a lot of things. I'm not going to go ahead and say, like, anything that was a good game um but yeah this this deck the essential gimmick of it is like root glade grotto moss with tribe rider um hungry behemoth make this thing just do its damage but it's a very board sensitive deck and it only runs on a few buffs so it's very easily shut down very easily controlled with everything out there and the fact that because i can get controlled so easily i can't control my opponent with one for ones i cannot compete that tempo um, so this deck might just be trash. Could very well just be trash. Uh, 